Today I'm going to be making something really, really yummy, and these are my double chocolate white chocolate chip cookies. And here are the ingredients that we need. Three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder, two cups of all-purpose flour, two eggs, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white chocolate chips, this is 225 grams, one cup of unsalted butter, a half a cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a teaspoon of salt. A recipe note, if you are using salted butter, simply remove the salt from my recipe. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. For our first step, I'm gonna get all of our nice butter into a large bowl. Okay, that's good. To that, my white granulated sugar and our brown sugar. So I'm just gonna break that up a little bit with a fork. And whenever you're measuring out your brown sugar, you wanna pack it tightly into your measuring cup. So as you're pushing it into your cup, push it down so that it gets really, really nice and compact like you see here. Once you see that the whole mixture is starting to come together, we can add a little bit of moisture. I'll add in my first egg, then we'll add in our second egg. And then I'll add in my vanilla. I'll add in my salt. And then we'll sift in our dry ingredients. So we'll get our lovely cocoa powder in there. And all of our flour. And our baking soda. Grab the back of a spoon and I'll just push this through. We'll grab our mixer. Speed number one. And I'm just going to slowly start incorporating all of the dry ingredients into our wet. So we're about halfway there. Another minute or so and we should be done. Okay, so this is about a minute later and it's all nicely mixed. So for our last thing, we're going to take our chocolate chips and I'm just going to get those in there. And what I did was I opened up the package and I took a few out. And we're going to keep these out to put on top of our actual cookies just before they go into the oven. And now we'll just mix these in quickly. So we're all set to go. I have my cookie sheet here and a piece of parchment paper. This is optional. You can go directly onto your cookie sheet if you wish, but I'm going to use parchment today. I've got myself a medium size scoop and you can do this by eye just with a spoon, but I'm just going to go and use my scoop today. Okay, once that is done, now we have the little chips that I had left over and you can just take these and just put them on the top. Do three or four, doesn't really matter. So I'm going to pop this into my 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. So my first batch is done and it's cooling now. I did those for 10 minutes. The second batch, I'm going to show you something slightly different. I'm just going to take my fork and I'm just going to press a little bit onto each one. And then I'm going to put on the chocolate chips and pop these into the oven for the same amount of time, 10 minutes. So I've just zoomed in just to show you the three different types. So these are the original ones. These are the ones that I scooped out and I did not push down at all. Then we have the ones that I scooped out and I used our fork. Okay, those are there. And then these ones here are the ones that I used with the back of the spoon and also pushed those down. So there we have the three different types. So you have three slightly different looks. And all of these were baked for the same time, 10 minutes in my 350 degree oven. And the last thing, let's break into one of these and I'll just show you how nice these are. Look at this. These are completely cooled by the way and look. 
really, really nice and moist, nice and chewy. If you want them a little bit more firm, you want to go about 12 minutes. But look at that. Mmm, really, really good. Mmm, I love these. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish, I really do appreciate that. So that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel, and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video.